Hi HCG fam, it's B Marie checking in. Um, <clears throat> checking in the day after a cheat. It's been very rough. Um, I did have a gain. Um, I don't think my gain was as big as it should have been because I work and walk for seven and a half to eight hours a day. However, the scale for me is um I keep up with it but for me this protocol has been more so I don't have to be dependent on sugars and my biggest fear for my cheats was the craving of sugars again and carbs today I felt so so I'm sorry feel so sick I want to wanted to call off, but because the cheat was something that I did on my own, I forced myself to go to work. My stomach has been tore up um, all day. It hurts really bad. And um, Tom came. So between the stomach ache and cramping, I feel like I'm being punished. <laughs> so, uh, I just want you guys to know, I don't want to cheat. I shouldn't have cheated. Um, I use the fact that, um, for my son's birthday and the cake, which was, it was, everything was great. But what I'm paying for right now, how I'm paying for cheating, was so not worth it. So, Ain't no more cheating. I don't care if I'm in P3, P4. I don't want to go back to the way things were. And that's my biggest fear. I don't want to go back to um, getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I want ice cream. And going to get it, having to get the ice cream. I mean, literally, I can't. My body's like, you got to eat this ice cream. I don't want to ever go back to that. And I can't sleep. It is so hard for me to sleep. It's, I'm having really bad insomnia um, from this cheat because before then, I was doing good. The um, only thing I had the other night was a nightmare because that was because my husband was watching a crime, uh, some kind of murder or crime scene movie. And um, that incorporate, I incorporated that into my dream. So my subconscious took hold of whatever was on TV that night. But the fact that I cannot sleep, um, my stomach is tore up, and I feel like crap. It's not a cheat. It's not worth it. So if you guys are thinking about cheating, your uh, obstacle may be the scale. Or your obstacle may be not to be diabetic or not to have high blood pressure. My numbers were good up until today. I woke up almost no, I was 127 this morning. So, considering that's high for me, I've been waking up with 77 to 90 blood sugars. And I'm at 127 first thing in the morning. So, you know, throughout the course of the day, it doesn't do anything but go up. So, um, I just kind of want to let you guys know uh, that for me, the cheat... Yeah, I had an increase on the scale, but my numbers on the scale is good. I'm like, hey, happy releases for me. But my biggest obstacle is for when I go to that doctor's office on the 13th, and he re he redo my my sugar, uh, my A1Cs, and he can come back and say, no, I was wrong. You don't have to take insulin. No, I was wrong. This protocol worked for you, or no, I was wrong. You have lost tremendous amount of weight, and that's that's what. My biggest thing is is for him to say no insulin, no diabetic, no, your perfect health. So um, the the scale is great, cause you know, but that's not what I'm on this protocol for. It's really a life change for me. I don't want the food addictions anymore. And the way I feel right now, I am so sick, and I am so sorry that I let me down, cause I let my body down, and my body is rejecting everything that I put into it so um, from Sunday like I said it was good going down but my body rejected it and as far as my daughter's concerned 
her her numbers on the scale went up tremendously. Um, she she was so sleepy and she wasn't feeling that great either. Um, she wasn't sick like me, but she had a headache today, and um, the scale told on her more than it told on me. But like I said, maybe because I walk seven to eight hours a day and I do stairs and um, it may not reflect so much on me so if you're not really physical as much as I am you know the cheat may cost you more in numbers whereas it's costing my body a lot of pain so I just want you guys to know um, I'm not beating myself up I, I just said I want to make sure I let you guys know my day by day walk on this protocol and today sucked and it's my own fault, my own doing. But I promise not to beat myself up. So guess what? I'm 100% committed to the protocol and I'm back in it. Um, for me, my last uh, low day is going to be on the 13th. And so um, I'll keep the videos coming until then. After that, um, I'm going to be working closely with the young lady. Um, that's going to start the HCG protocol. We're going to do the um, ordering on Thursday. And um, I'm going to be working with her closer. But for P3, for me, it's going to be more of an um, exercise challenge and working on certain body body parts. And since I used to um, train, not professionally, but train people um, when I was younger, um, I'm going to do small videos and, you know, talk about working out a lot more on P3 and it really going into de depth as far as what I'm eating on P3. So, I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Um, as you notice, I'm in the bathroom doing my video on purpose with my Don King hairdo. And that's just to tell you how I really feel. Alright, I love you guys much and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye.